with a definite force. Quality and mystery. It must be central. There was a cover-up going on here, and it stinks. I see a rich man. A smile. A rich woman. I'm doing with my life. Dandelion Death, starring Michael Kitchen. I'd like to buy some, uh, awesome. His affability covers a multitude of sins. 99 to 1 with Leslie Grantham, a disgraced detective playing a very dangerous game. You pull out, now you get nothing. Richard Wilson and Jan Francis, starring Under the Hammer. I think it looks stunning. And it doesn't end there. Why would he do this to her? What are you, a private detective? With a lot of public appeal. Lucky very much. Drama on Central, of course. After eating, plaque acid can increase the risk of tooth decay. But chewing Orbit or Wrigley's Extra for 20 minutes stimulates saliva, which helps nature fight plaque acid attack. Lung Poly are offering their biggest discounts ever, but only until January the 3rd. Get away. Oh! At 768, this set is great value. With £150 off in the sale, it's fantastic. And when the sale discount is doubled to over £300 off, it's unbelievable. But believe it, you must, because DFS is giving double discounts on many sale offers. Double discount means this leather sofa is only 498, while this sofa is just 299. Plus, there's an extra £100 off every three-piece suite. We will only discount all our prices once a year. That's why everything is reduced. Every single settee, sofa chair, every style, every colour. Don't miss double discount at DFS from today, including New Year's Day. Marston's announced the new fangled draft flow system. It's put the taste of canned pedigree back a hundred years. As well as low prices every day on your key DIY, B&Q has something extra special at the moment. A special purchase sale with hundreds of products at very special prices. A huge clearance of discontinued lines and end of season products. And interest-free credit when you spend £500 on bathrooms or £1,000 on kitchens or conservatories. Whether you want low prices every day on the products you buy most or something extra special, you'll find it all at B&Q. Tilda American Easy Cook Rice is easy to cook and it won't stick. Tilda. ever Paul Air Carpet Sale. First four day offers end 29th of December. Every carpet is reduced and for the first time ever you can buy any carpet. Pay just over 10% deposit and then pay the balance in June 94. First four days only save 90% on this wilt and it's only 195 a square yard when you buy the underlay at 299 a square yard. Save over 60% on these American shadows now 299 a square yard. These prints are only 149 a square yard. Hurry these offers must end Wednesday 29th December. It's the big one don't miss these fantastic four day offers. Miller Brothers Mega Sale is now on. See hundreds of mega savings like £70 off this sharp video with programmable handset. Miller Brothers Mega Value, $179.99. Miller Brothers Electrical Mega Sale. The Merry Hill Centre, Perry Bar, Troitwich, Derby, Nottingham, Leicester. I'm not warning you again. You're not warning me at all, Sunshine. All right. Lessons to be learnt. The Bill, a Tuesday, Thursday and Friday booking at 8 on Central. Now, have you heard the one about the unluckiest man in the world? Went to sleep with his head under the pillar. The fairies came and took all his teeth out. The classic book. I am always done this. I've worked for well. A cracker. The comedian's Christmas cracker. It's Tuesday comedy at 10.45 on Central. <laughs> Now is 10.20 and ITM has the latest news. Good evening. This is the news from ITM. Tonight's headlines, medical world split over 59-year-old woman who's given birth to twins. 
three more children taken into care after being found at home alone. And Adrian Maguire rides his 100th winner in the day's big race. There are deep divisions in the medical world tonight over the birth of twins to a 59-year-old British woman in a London hospital on Christmas Day. The woman was artificially impregnated in Italy. The Health Secretary, Virginia Bottomley, has called for other countries to adopt the same ethical guidelines as Britain. She said no woman has an automatic right to have children. For Dr Severino Antinori, another triumph. A 59-year-old English woman has given birth to twins. But while the new parents celebrate, this use of medical advances is causing concern. Let them be no doubt, they offer great hope to many thousands of families who now have a baby they would not otherwise have been able to have. But there are deep ethical considerations and the child's welfare must be considered. The woman in this latest case is said to be a wealthy business executive. But by the time her twins start secondary school, she'll probably have retired by then age 70. She's always refused to talk publicly about her pregnancy and has obtained a court order which bans journalists from naming her. The woman was turned down for treatment in Harley Street after an ethics committee said she was too old. So she travelled to Rome where Dr Antinori said he would treat her. There she received an egg from a donor which had been fertilised in a test tube using sperm from her own younger partner. Medical opinion is divided. Who is to say that these children will be disadvantaged? They may not be disadvantaged at all. I think it's the general public perception that they're going to be brought up by someone who's old enough to be a granny. What I feel very, very strongly is that it's just not every woman's right to have a child. Um, a child is a gift, and you don't just go out and buy it like a box of chocolates in a new car. To his patients, Dr Antinori is often their only hope, but to others, this latest birth is further evidence that he's gone too far. Simon Harris, ITN, Central London. Three children, all under five, are being cared for by foster parents tonight after being found at home alone. The case in Wolverhampton is the fifth of its kind this Christmas. Altogether, 12 home alone children are now in care. An anonymous tip-off brought police to a house on this Wolverhampton estate. Inside, they found the children, two boys and a girl. The police weren't revealing the exact address, but they say the front door had been heavily bolted and the officers had to force their way in through a boarded up window. While they were there, the children's father returned home. He'll be questioned by police and social services. He will be given the support that he needs as a single parent to look after his children, perhaps in uh, slightly better than he has in the past. Clearly there are many children who are neglected in our society today, and there are uh, a number of children who are left alone. What the actual scale of the problem is, I don't think anyone knows, but it, it clearly is a serious issue and it's one that needs to be addressed. Tonight, the three children have been placed with foster parents. Miles Fletcher, ITN, Wolverhampton. Shopkeepers across the country reported higher takings than last year as the winter sales got underway and business was booming too in travel agencies. It seems to confirm government predictions that the recovery is on course. The sales are perhaps the surest toe-in-the-water test of how the spending public view the economy. And the message from the first day sales around the country is spend, spend, spend. Not just on consumer goods, but travel firms also reporting more inquiries and a large increase in bookings. In Scotland, where retailers had record pre-Christmas takings, they were showing all the signs of a repeat performance in the sales. Shoppers were not just confident, they were predatory. In London's West End, retailers also found more confident shoppers. Many stores admitted that while pre-Christmas spending was up on 1992, the amount of cash through the till by mid-afternoon was far in excess of last year, which took some executives by surprise. We would Im uh, imagine that uh, we were going to sort of, uh, probably in view of the fact that Christmas had been so strong, that we were going to sort of level out with last year in terms of the first or second day of the sale. But it's going to be very, very much bigger than that green shoots today, but will they survive the winter frost? Customs officers say they've uncovered the first evidence of mafia involvement in drug smuggling into Britain. They found £70 million worth of cocaine at Felixstowe and in Sicily. Two Italians were arrested at Felixstowe. Politicians from all the main parties in Northern Ireland have condemned the IRA's mortar attack on a police station in Fintner, County Tyrone. 
The attack came just minutes after the end of the terrorist Christmas ceasefire. Two people were injured. Just 16 minutes after the end of the IRA's 72-hour Christmas ceasefire and the small County Tyrone town of Fintner was rocked by a no-warning mortar attack on the RUC station in the predominantly nationalist town. The device was fired from a beige Toyota Jeep parked at the front of the base. The explosion was heard over 10 miles away as the mortar landed inside the compound, causing widespread damage to the unmanned base and surrounding homes. Many local residents were thankful of a lucky escape, but one woman suffered shock and a man was cut by flying glass as he watched television. This morning local people began the long process of clearing up in the aftermath of this latest IRA attack, as the full extent of the damage was revealed, the mortar landing only a few feet from the front door of the police station. The senior police officer condemned the attack, saying it was carried out without regard for the safety of people or property, an attack that could have had fatal consequences. While Sinn Féin and the IRA are coming under increasing pressure to give their verdict on the Downing Street Declaration, this morning's blast was a clear sign that the terrorists intend to continue their campaign of violence. Mark Lyons, ITN, Bentner, County Tyrone. Now a brief look at the day's other news. In the Middle East, attempts to end the deadlock which has delayed the withdrawal of Israeli troops from the Gaza Strip and Jericho appear to have failed. Talks between Israel's Foreign Minister Shimon Peres and the PLO negotiator Mahmoud Abbas in Cairo ended with no sign of any progress. In Brazil, 36 people were killed and more than 40 others injured when an overcrowded bus plunged into a ravine. The accident happened on a narrow road in the south of the country, which is notorious for fatal accidents. And Russian commandos have captured the gang who kidnapped a group of schoolchildren and escaped in a helicopter with a £6 million ransom. Police have now recovered most of the money. The gang's leader told investigators they'd thrown the rest out of the helicopter. Sport now, the top four clubs in the FA Premiership weren't playing today. All the leading Scottish teams were. But the big story was at Kempton Park where Adrian Maguire rode his hundredth winner. The 22-year-old Irishman in just his third full season of racing steered Barton Bank home to take the race by ahead, just pipping Bradbury Star in the King George VI chase. But later Maguire was banned for two days for excessive use of the whip. So the full SP, first Barton Bank at 9 to 2, second Bradbury Star 5 to 1, and third the fellow, the 7 to 2 favourite. Arsenal made the most of their holiday trip to Swindon, Kevin Campbell scoring this for his hat trick. Not to be outdone, Ian Wright came up with a contender for goal of the season, chipping the keeper from nearly 40 yards. So at the top of the table, Arsenal move into fourth place, Manchester United still 13 points clear. At the bottom of the Premiership, Chelsea's Mark Steen finally scored for his new club, but it wasn't enough to beat Southampton. Their first win in six games means Chelsea now dropped to second from bottom. In the first division, two goals from Chris Armstrong kept Crystal Palace at the top. Tranmere and Millwall could only manage draws, and Charlton went down 4-2 at South End. In Scotland, two goals from Mark Haightley weren't enough at Ibrox. Aberdeen still top of the Scottish Premier tonight. That's all from us. Good night. Hello, good evening. Well, it's dry, cold and frosty virtually everywhere at the moment, but then what happens is we have clouds with rain, sleet and snow pushing in from the west. During the course of the night, pushing ever eastward. Snow on the higher ground in the north of England as well as Scotland, of course, but remaining frosty in that eastern extreme corner there. During the course of the day, let's pinpoint that weather system as it covers virtually the whole of the country, but then very much drier, brighter weather following on from behind. So back to the moment at hand, and let's focus on all this weather activity for tonight. There we see the cloud, the rain, sleet, snow, a lot of wet snow around, but this will actually ease back to rain as these temperatures begin to recover. Now look at them there for the east, a bone bitingly cold, minus five, minus six there in the far northeast of Scotland. So as we go into tomorrow, it's all eyes on this weather system, covering virtually the whole of the country, rain, sleet, snow on the leading edge, 
and very quickly getting into that eastern corner with that drier, brighter weather following on. Very, very cold indeed, raw in the east with freshening winds, but a more respectable 7 or 45 out to the west. That's all from me for today. Good night. Central Weather, sponsored by Legal in General. Good evening. It's going to be another frosty night in the central region. There'll be sleet or snow in the west, with temperatures falling to minus 4 Celsius. That's 25 Fahrenheit. Tomorrow, any sleet or snow will turn to rain as it moves eastwards, leaving us with temperatures about 41 Fahrenheit. That's it for me. I'm off to try out my new Christmas pyjamas. Good night. Sleep tight.